I do want to start. I do want to keep CD Bones. No idea. Never seen him before. But I like our hand. It has early interaction, digging, Tron, Blue Source, Silent Arbiter for those matches where you really want to uh, buy some time versus creatures. So I feel pretty confident. Okay. So it's probably red green Tron. But might be blue Tron. Either way, we go for blue source here. I think. Okay, okay. He's not doing anything. He has a ghost corner, which is fine. Oh, this is tough. Condescent is good, but so is Mind Saver. I think I go for Condescent because I'm just too far away from being able to cast Mind Saver. <clears throat> okay, he's red green Tron. The foil looks really, really ugly. Let's counter this. <clears throat> Can we do something degenerate? No. We cannot. Foiling your budget deck. <laughs> I think we let the solvent scrying resolve now. Because I, I would rather condescend uh, a threat, but then he has the ability to search every turn or something. Let's see, if I don't condescend here, next turn we have 10 mana. Well, we want to play Eugene actually next turn. I think we need to condescend here and just hope he doesn't top deck. Because I really want to play Eugene next turn because Sundering Titan is bad, Angel is bad, but Eugene is pretty good. Chalice on one is also pretty good. I think I'll play Chalice on one. I guess I could play Chalice on seven. What are you guys thinking about playing Chalice? Oh no, I can't play Chalice on seven. What am I saying? No, but I like Chalice on one. It hits, it hits the X, it hits the stirrings. It hits the map too. And it's a nice curve, right? Because we have ex exactly 8 mana open. And then he needs to find an answer quickly for Eugene. Eugene looks really good here, actually. Because we get to 10, and we minus 10, we just win the game. <clears throat> Play Chills on 15, no. <laughs> Okay, we want Jester's Cap, we want Squelches, we want Negates, um, we want Chalices, probably want Wonka Engine. <coughs> Chalice on 15 does actually nothing, yeah. Well, it does trigger, it does trigger when Amrakul is cast. Sundering Titan is bad. Better Skull is bad, Silent Arbiter is bad. Um, Angel is not very good. Mm. 
not sure. I guess repeal is pretty bad. What what would we possibly repeal? <clears throat> I think Angel is one which goes out too. Angel doesn't seem that good. Spellburst maybe. Angel goes out. The Eugene was good this time around, but he usually isn't. Usually it's not, but can we just win if we just play Bomb Engines and Mind Slaver? I think we have to keep at least four threats in. <clears throat> Just bought out one more repeal. And spellburst, maybe. I like the squelch. I like the justice cap. <clears throat> I like the condescend we just drew. So let's just hope he plays a non Tron land. Never mind. Oh, he's gonna make it easy for us. He didn't. Well, he's not expecting Squelch. Didn't expect Squelch. <laughs> this time he this time he played around. Okay. So we keep condescend open so we can condescend Karn. But it's one pie engine. And a relic. Do we justice cap right away? Do we just justice cap here? Next turn I play mine bomb engine, I think. But this turn I think this turn I play justice cap, pause. And if we don't get to counter anything, end of turn, we take three Karns, or we take one Emra cool, two Karns. If I had a Tectonic Edge, I would Tech Edge the Tower and take three Towers. Actually, I guess if we get to Condescend, we might be able to scry an Expedition Map on the top, and then we might be able to do that. Have to see if he gives us the opportunity to do that. And after that, the game would be over. Because the Vomka engine itself wouldn't do enough. So now he has. It's turn five. He already played a land, so I'm not gonna left. I'm not. I don't care about this. I'm not gonna counter that. Well, this is bad. Of course he had the tower exactly, the double tower, so we can't condescend. Maybe I should have used Jester's Cabin response to the Ancient Stirrings and took the Emra Cool. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. Take the Emra Cool and the Karn in response to Ancient Stirrings. I mean, it was impossible to know uh, that he was going to find it. Well, let's have a look. He plays one Ulamog, Ceaseless Hunger. One Emra, cool. How scared are we of Ulamog? Pff, 
pretty scared. Pretty, pretty scared. So even if I find a tectonic edge now, it's not gonna matter. So taking like three mines is not good. Trying to figure out what he has in his hand. Conduit of Ruin. Jeez. I think he has Vomka engines in his hand. Because I don't see any here and I don't think he would play only one Vomka engine. But maybe that's exactly what he's doing. Anyway, we have to take Emrakul, Olamok, Karn, I think. There's a lot of good cards here. Crumble to Dust. It's sick that he got to 11 mana turn 5, despite the Squelch. But I guess that's Red Green Tron. Gamstone Caverns. Oh. Uh, well, Conosan is not going to help. There's not a single spell that we could condescend. I'm gonna play the Gamstone Cavern. I'm gonna treasure mage. <clears throat> sure. Let's save the mind slayer. So if we're lucky he's gonna minus free the island, thinking that this is our only blue so blue source. But we have more blue sources, so we wouldn't care that much. And once the Khan is gone, we're in a decent position. If he pluses, we just throw away an island. I think I eat this because I would like to swing. No, swinging makes no difference. Might as well block. I think this is the best modern budget deck. <laughs> okay. Island definitely. So he placed two of them? Wow. People were not kidding when they said that it's harder to win against them now. It used to be pretty easy because you were only scared of uh, Emrakul, but if they play now one Emrakul, two Ulamok, they have three times the cards which you're really scared of. Boarding stays the same though. Happy with the boarding. Seems fine. Lacking a condescend, but I like the squelch. Hoping that the squelch is gonna do more than last time. I mean, the squelch felt sick, but I mean, as I said, on turn 5 he still had 11 mana. <clears throat> Which was. I mean, I don't wanna be salty, I don't wanna whine, but it was exactly enough to play around the condescend. If we had condescend of that Karn. You know, if, if, if he didn't have double tower, if he had du double power plant or double mine, I think the game would have been insanely different. <clears throat> yeah, the second one looks probably in the sideboard. Riemann is good here, I think. It's Riemann or Island, Tolaria West is horrible. I'm gonna take Riemann.
Yeah, this is pretty good actually. I would like a second blue source soon. I don't even really want to remount this, but I guess I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be sold, but here it goes. <laughs> That's me. I'm not salty about losing. I don't really care that I lost, but because I would have cared like if I lost due to misplay. He had a, despite our good interaction, he was able to do his thing. We failed at our game plan. Our game plan is to stop our opponent from doing. We are an interactive deck. Whatever our opponent is trying to do, we want to delay it. We want to stop it. We want to do whatever we can to to hinder him. And we just, the spells we played, the squelch on the expedition map just did not have an impact. That's the big problem. Okay, okay, okay. I want to anticipate here. If I find a remount, I might remount. But I probably want to squelch this. Ooh. I don't think I want to remount. I think I want the power plant. And I think I'm going to squelch here. Okay, he chose not to. He chose not to crack. How deep can we go? Uh, how do we want to tap? I don't care about taking a swing, do I? Oh boy. We can get a tech edge. We can fabricate into Jester's Cap and get a tech edge. This might be this might be really good. Let me figure this out how we do this the best way. We wanna we wanna do both our plays next turn. Okay, so this turn. So how much mana do we need? We need three mana for this and a land slot. We already played land this turn, so we cannot tech edge this turn. Three mana, three mana. 6 mana, 12 mana, this is 10, next turn, we're gonna have 12 mana next turn, but he could get a ghost quarter, he probably gets a ghost quarter, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, Well, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it. If he's smart, he's, he, can, he can stop it from happening, if he's smart. But I think the chance for this to work is too high not to try it. So what he needs to do is he needs to get a tech edge or a ghost quarter. I hope he's getting a tower. I mean, if he has Ulamar gear or whatever. Well, or he has this, but that's okay too, I guess. So, if we're if if we're lucky and this works out, we do the same thing to each other. We have to get a bit a little bit lucky now, though. The thing is, we had no answer to crumble to dust anyway because we drew no counters. The sad thing is, if we had Ghost Quarter, we could have Jester's Cap. Now we can't Jester's Cap. Because we only have 5 mana. That's like the most 
trolling condescend one turn after we could have used it <clears throat> but I'm not sure if I would have played different if I had a condescend probably well right hmm now it's very ugly that's quite simple actually right tech edge pass tech edge end of turn and then we still can't just as capo if this was a ghost quarter that would be so much better right now Snapcaster seems pretty good here, actually. Snapcaster remount. If our opponent plays something else. If I blow up Tech Edge now, there's a pretty high chance he's going to find the second tower of a second power plant before we get to Jester's Cat. So I think we have to delay that a little bit. I think we have to set Clonic Rift here now. Just to buy some time. Now we have 6 mana. We could just just cap end of turn tech edge next turn well okay we play Jester's cap he plays bomb core engine hopefully end of turn we destroy one of his lands during our turn we crack the Jester's cap snapcaster block snapcaster cyclone curve maybe even if we draw land Thing is, well, if he has an Ulamok, well, if he has an Ulamok, we're dead. If he has Karn, we need the Snapcaster Remont. Yeah, I think we have to play this one safe. And Snapcaster Remont, actually. If we can just hit one or two more land drops and buy one or two more turns, we should be able to lock him out. He has only three now, never mind, never mind. Step cost remote. If we draw a land here, I think we've done it. The thing jumping around is like the worst. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I, if I kill it now and I draw a land, I'm fine. Just go for it, just hope. I think we have to. What what is the alternative if we don't do this? What can we do next turn? Play Jester's Cap. Do we take Tower Power Plan? This is the thing. Usually you would Jester's Cap first. Yeah. Usually you would Jester's Cap first to see if he has... I mean, if he had a second tower, he would have played a second tower, I think. But maybe he, ju he just didn't do it in order to for uh, to bait the Tectonic Edge on the, on the tower. Yeah, 
but we don't have a lot of time because of this Womka engine. No land, no. To condescend for free open. Condescend for two open or yeah, that should be enough. Uh might as well get a blue source. No no reason to get anything else. So as long as he doesn't get a tower this turn. We should be able to lock him up, but then we still need to deal with this Womka engine, but our Womka engine should be able to deal with that. But here's the Sylvan crying. Yeah, it just didn't happen. Never lucky, I guess. And I seriously doubt we're going to be able to win this game from, from here. We just needed to draw land last turn really, 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 really badly. Uh, sure, I like, uh, well, I can't really take a negate. I need one if he has a Karn, but I need to tap out for Vomka Engine next turn. Actually, I guess I have one more turn, so let's... Guess we could still Jester's Cap take away the late game threats and then we might still have a chance. If we manage to get Academy Ruins online and we can recore our threats, as long as I take care of the Emra Cools. He has enough ma enough mana that if he draws an Emerald Cult, it's just, just over. I mean, the thing is, if he draws anything, if he draws, if he has a Karn, if he has an Emerald Cult, it doesn't matter, we just lose. In Ulamog, we just lose. Uh. Yeah, he's clearly top decking for threats, so I think exiling three threats. It's going to be important here. And we're going to take... Okay, he has zero cons in his hand. He has zero threats in his hand, actually. That's good news. So we're going to take all three Eldrazi. Eldrazi. So he has three cons, which he could draw, which would be really strong. Oh, and... Drawing another engine is actually pretty good here. As long as he doesn't draw Karn. Three outs. Strong 40 cards. I guess Ancient Strings. Conduit of Ruin. Got he got um Sundering Titan, right? Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to warm engine here again. I really would have liked to put down the shadows on one somewhere. Oh, another nature's claim. OK, 
Okay, let me see. Probably want to get rid of the 5-5. Five five. Hmm. We could double block this with life linkers. We could just death touch. I think we just death touch here. But then we don't have an answer for this guy anymore. But if we block this guy, we lose another land. I think I double block here. Just so we gain twice as much life, right? This is how it works, right? We gain the full life there. I don't think I care about his death touch guy. I'm trying to figure out how to maximize my maximize my chances of winning. I mean, if this guy dies, we absolutely cannot lose the land, so we we don't need the death touch for this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna choose this. What? So I should go to 13, yeah. Land is really good here. It's first. Cameroons is really good here. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm behind on time immensely. <laughs> so now he swings for 10. I guess I have to block now though. Time we go to free. Well now I can block next turn. Well now we're dead to Eugene. Yeah. Should be good enough, I think. Get back Womka engine. As long as he's not top decking, amazing stuff. Getting back Womka engine should be enough here. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! What am I doing? What am I doing? We want to crack this first. Almost shuffled. After. I have to play faster, so I'm going to talk less. <clears throat> so now we could actually block the Sundering Titan. Probably have to. Question is, is he even going to attack? Yeah, I think I get Jester's Cat back now and Exile Karns. Right, XR Carnes. And I think we're gonna win if I play this fast enough. Um yeah, free Carnes, please. Okay, we just play Vomka Engine every turn from now on. Oh we're dead to Eugene, I just realized. So I guess I just have kept the Eugene's too. And then I play Home Car Engine. Only one Eugene here. That has me worried. Relic is very good. And the Ghost Quarter has to go. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna get the second Vomka engine. Probably should have got the second Vomka engine earlier and just attacked. But I'm gonna do that now. Because we really wanna get gain some life. And I'm just gonna F6 really, really aggressively. <clears throat>
I'm not talking because I'm thinking and I'm trying to play as fast as possible. So excuse me, but I'm just I'm just not talking. Does he have anything that he can get? I don't even know what I should put the second cellos on. Actually, attack with everything. Well, I'm slow. I'm doing I'm doing it the shock trooper way. You don't need clock. You only need one second left at the end of the game. I can't believe <laughs> what is happening that we actually are apparently maybe winning this. Jeez, this one is going on the YouTube. <laughs> wow, what just happened? How did we win this? Have I ever seen Shock Trooper play? No, who's Shock Trooper? Is he a streamer? Does does he play Bluetron? He probably copied it from me. Like he probably saw me stream Bluetron and then he thought, oh I should do that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to say to that matchup, ex except that's the reason I'm playing Magic, right? That was a huge comeback. I was like, I was a hundred percent sure that we had lost there, but I, I guess it just goes, you know, that was just a prime example for you should play towards your outs and you should never give up and you should al always try to think how can you maximize your chances of winning. And I was under. I, I realized that as long as he doesn't top deck an Emra call, you know, I had to do certain lines of play, just buy enough time against that single Vorm engine, and in the end, it was good enough. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.